Secretary Kennedy made an announcement that uh, mRNA vaccine technology research done at BARDA, uh, the, one of the major research arms of our federal government, would no longer be uh, supported. This is a major tragedy for two reasons. One is, is that this technology holds great promise for us improving vaccines like that for influenza. Right now, if we were to have an influenza pandemic uh, globally, we could make enough vaccine using the imbrated chicken egg vaccine virus approach that I can tell you is an outdated uh, mode of making vaccine, but it's all we have. So the second part of the challenge is if we get into another influenza pandemic with our current vaccine uh, technology approach, we will be at the end of the line to get vaccine globally, not at the head of the line like we have been in the past. This leaves our country highly, highly vulnerable. It's not a question of if bird flu will become a pandemic. It's a question of when. Maybe it's not this year. Maybe it's not five years from now. Maybe it's 10 years from now. But we have to be prepared. We have to have technologies in place. And that doesn't mean that everything should be mRNA, that we should only invest into mRNA for the development of vaccines against bird flu. We should be looking at all modalities. You know, we don't know what's in place anymore. It changes by the day and it changes by a whim. And the truth is that the there are other countries around the world, you know, including China, as well as Europe and uh, Asia in general, that are not throwing away their investment into mRNA research and mRNA vaccine development. In fact, they're doubling down. I've been in this business for 50 years and have seen many crises come and go. And I've seen many attempts by public health to address these kinds of situations. Never have I seen a more dangerous approach to uh, responding to our vulnerability to infectious diseases than what happened yesterday.